in the new Moogle tombstone event, one of the better ways to get tombstones appears to be through sea fishing. So I'm here in Limsa and Lominsa to unlock fishing. I'm level one. And to get deep sea fishing, first you need to do the first quest, my first fishing rod from Sisipu. So I'm going to take care of that. And then when I come back, I can unlock deep sea fishing. Okay, I collected the five anchovies. You can do it right outside the door on the docks. Turn them into sissy poo. All right. And now, once you finish your first quest with the fishing, you can accept all, all the fish in the sea, which is right next door, right next to sissy poo. It's Phil Snow. All right, so he gives you the quest. So you get turn in the quest. And that unlocks deep sea fishing. And deep sea fish, ocean fishing is the best way to level up fishing. You can actually do it like in a weekend casually. Now every two hours you can go ocean fishing and it starts Depends on your server, but for me, it's on every odd um, hour. And you talk to Jessica here, and she, the event's open for like 15 minutes. And you come over here to this merchant, make sure you repair your gear before you go out. And you, you wanna buy the three baits, which are these three right here, ragworm, krill, and plump worm I'm gonna link in the bottom the website that keeps track of the weather and the um, ocean path sorry the boating pass for each of the ocean fishing events because each one of them is different and it'll tell you in each zone which fish to use for the best points or which bait to use to fish for the best points you know, the first few times I'm going to do this, it's going to suck because I'm not going to have all the skills that you want to get, like, a great score. But it won't take me but, like, a few champs out there before I'm, like, roughly 50. And to speed up the process, I'm going to use food. And I'm going to use a commercial gathering... Commercial survival manual. I'm going to use, and it gives me 150% experience boost, and I'm also gonna use food. It doesn't matter what kind of food it is. Best thing is just to go to a local food vendor and just buy cheapest food that might give you bonus. A great place to go is to the um, Gold Saucer because there's a food vendor right there. And you get these seals from grand company turn-ins you can use your sealed turn-ins to buy these and go check the event now that i have this unlocked to see what i need to do okay consult the paenium until the first time of genesis score at least eight thousand points during a single ocean fishing voice so i can't do that right away because it's a lot about luck and also you have to have like certain abilities unlocked so i just gotta level up my fishing to get that ocean fishing Every time I get 1,200, I get five. So yeah, while I'm working towards getting the Ultima of 8,000 and leveling my fishing, I'll be getting five for each time that I at least get to 1,200, which is very easy to do. You can actually do that the first time you go out. You can actually get 8,000 your first time you go out if you get really, really, really lucky. But yeah, and I'll say it's pretty cool. You can get a shark mount where you're riding on the back of the shark you can get a uh shark like, shark pet it's really cute one more thing you want to do before starting fishing is that you want to talk to morgane and take the blue quest unscrutable taste this will unlock the ability to gather scripts once you hit level 50 so that's fr uh, you'll be getting free scripts once your fi your fisherman's at level 50 while you're doing ocean fishing. So that's free gear, mats, materia, 
just for doing on top of everything you're already getting. So yeah, make sure you get that taken care of also. So once you turn that quest in, be sure to pick up Going West Craftsman. This quest will unlock the turn-ins for uh, collectibles for Odishire. And then it also unlocks the the blue quest to for Stormblood, uh, Shadowbringers, and Inwalker. Okay, we're just finishing up now on the first ocean fish. I came in here at level seven and I'm leaving at level 25. Uh, without the bonus points, I'm already up to 4,725. So the 1,200 minimum for ocean fishing is just so that you don't join and then go AFK for half an hour. They want you to actually do something. Difficult to actually get the minimum. So yeah, calculating all my points, all the bonuses, I end up almost there. Wow, so close. No more fish in the C1. Ah. I don't remember what that achievement is. So hold on. I get the fishy ma uh, minion. Yeah. The shark minion. Most of these are, are worthless. In fact, I'm pretty sure they all are. So, But I'm going to disenchant them. Because that's what everybody's doing right now. So on my second ocean fishing expedition, I was able to break the 8,000 and I'm only level 35-ish, level 35 or 36. So it's really easy, really easy 50 um, tombstones. So yeah, I'm actually enjoying this. This actually seems like a really nice thing to do every two hours. And then you go back to doing whatever you were doing before and just kind of do this every time, every if you're free every two hours. You, so to collect your reward, you go back to consort the Mogpedium and click on reclaim reward. 50 free tombstones. New list. And I'm going to pick up the titanium party and put that up. So if it's, even if it's half the price of what it normally is, that's around three to 600,000 gil right there just for doing two ocean expeditions. So that's an easy, fun day. So after my third um, ocean fishing, I got 7,400. So I got like one over 8,000 in three. So that's not that bad of odds, but I already got the reward for it. Uh, I just find this is a good way to get five tokens every two hours. That way you can continue doing other things with your day. You can even do, um, if you're farming the MGP items right now, you could do the MGP for two and a half hours and then come over here and do a fishing and then go back over there. Or you can do whatever you want. So yeah, this is a nice, easy way to get 50 tokens and also to do every two hours is it and it's a great way to level your fishing period if you have to, you have to do that i could get higher score if i like unlock if i did the quest i have my level one quest still and so i can't really use any of my abilities but without using any of my abilities i can pretty much get that score every time i'm a little under right now but it wouldn't be very hard to hit it 